Welcome to Daily Dose of Inspiration. My name is Claudia Testerine Campbell and I am your host. Daily Dose of Inspiration is part of our tips, tutorial, inspirational planning series. Have you ever been essayed? Forgive me for the acronyms this morning, but due to the soft censorship on social media, I have to use these abbreviations or acronyms to ensure that the video doesn't get blocked or muted. So, have you or anyone you know ever been S-aid? Or put another way, violated. After the trauma of that happening to you or the other person, and in this case, I'm going to say woman, although I'm fully aware of men being S-aid. I've worked with two such persons as clients in the past. After the trauma of the experience, did you or the woman, the girl, the young woman that you know, did she find out that she was pregnant? Yes. What happened? No, I'm not going to ask you to comment as I understand the sensitivity of this topic. But I'm going to assume that you are the girl or woman that you know who was violently violated and most definitely against her will. I'm going to assume that when she found out that she was with child, she wanted to terminate it after much thought and tears. Correct? Did she? Was she able to do so legally and safely? Across the United States today, There are many young girls and women who no longer have this choice to heal themselves after a major violation and intrusion on their personal development and desires. They are now saddled with the additional humiliation of carrying to term a pregnancy that they never asked for or wanted. They had other plans for their lives. Maybe a child was never in those plans or maybe for a later date like when they were old enough, responsible enough to give their child or children a good life? No, we are not advocates for the termination of pregnancy. What we are, are advocates for the human rights of all, no matter their sex, their gender, their race, their religion, their sexual orientation, the color of their skin, their height, their weight, or their damn eye color. But we now live in a time when men and some women who support a type of thinking that says women in 2024 have too many rights, are getting too independent, are making too much money, and girls and women were made to be enslaved by men, to be in service of men and have their children by fair means or foul, including violating them. These are the times that we are now once again living in. (laughs) Ursula K. Le Guin says it this way, and I'm changing the word that can get this video blocked. Quote, the preservation the preservation of life seems to be rather a slogan than a genuine goal of the anti reproductive rights forces what they want is control control over behavior power over women women in the anti choice movement want to share in male power over women and do so by denying their own womanhood their own rights and responsibilities end quote yes she's referring to the women who are doing contrary to our mission at this foundation being women who uplift women (laughs) again i repeat we are not advocates for termination of pregnancies we are Advocating, however, for the rights, the fundamental human rights of women having agency over their minds, body, and indeed spirit. Because, as they say, if they take away our rights to deciding about our bodies today, tomorrow they will take away our control of our minds and what and how we think. Next, we will be declared witches once again. And when they come to take away our rights, and then they will come to take away our rights to worship as we will. Is that what you're waiting for to take a stand? 
I hope not. Please don't wait any longer. Thanks for watching another episode of Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration is posted on Mondays and Wednesdays with a recap on Saturdays on Facebook and Instagram. Hit the like and follow us to get more tips.